this is the SOG Seal Pup Elite. Um, this is the serrated version. And you've probably seen this in a couple of other videos of me using or whatever, or just showing off my knife collection. I've had this one for probably five or six years now. Uh, man, I can't really stress how good of a built knife this thing is. I mean, I've beat this thing. I've, I've batoned wood with it. And this isn't a bushcraft knife. This is what I would call a utility knife. I mean, I'd wear this on a construction site. I'd wear this on like a... A combat rig it's basically a combat knife you know i'd wear this on a plate carrier or something like that as a, a good utility or fighting knife uh serrations do a good job of tearing flesh if you had to use it on flesh but you know it comes with a, a scabbard i have the hard plastic scabbard i'll just show that later it's kind of attached to my belt at the moment but uh this is one with the little it's got like this little notch out for cutting line and stuff like that on it and I think that's a little bit of a hokey feature. You can use it, but your knife has to be absolutely razor sharp to make it really worth having. But I'm just gonna kind of go through the paces on a few of what I would mostly use this knife for on like bushcraft type stuff. Cause that's mostly what I use my knives for. I mean, use it, I, I use it for cutting rope and stuff like that. But in general, I'm still usually using it for a bushcraft use. And well, I'm not gonna go stab a, uh, I'm not gonna go buy a chunk of meat and stab for the video. Um, but it's a solid built full tang knife. I like the the grip texture. It, it, it's not a slippery knife by any means. I like the, I think it's a parkerized or anodized coating on this and the uh, kind of ridged back here. It just works good for scraping on stuff. Um, I guess I'll just kind of show a little bit of the use of this. So I can peel this thing off here. I mean, that's mostly wet wood, but I mean, you can, it's, it's if you got a good edge on it, it'll absolutely do fine, fine curls. You won't really get really good notch work out of this knife just because of the serration. I mean, if you practiced a lot, you could probably get better at doing that, but it's really not suited for fine carving stuff for bushcraft implements like carving pieces for uh, primitive traps and things like that. But for any of just fire making and just, just real utility style field use, this is a great knife. Uh, it's not super heavy, but but it is heavy built, if that makes sense. So as far as carry weight, it's not super heavy and it'll hold up to some levels of abuse. Like with a lot of my knives, I've used them catching snapping turtles and stuff like that and cut the heads off down at the river. And uh, this one is no exception. I've cut quite a few snapper turtles heads off with this thing and it just goes right on through. Even when you hit bone, if you got a good sharp knife with a, a decent made material as far as the blade, you're really not going to have a problem. I would have preferred to have a non-serrated version, but it's still a good knife. I really, really like the scabbard, and I'll pull that off here in a minute and show. We've had a lot of rain here in Missouri the last couple weeks, so everything's kind of wet on the outside, like an eighth inch deep on the outside. So I'm just gonna wonder if that's dry enough to even catch on those 
Yeah, it's catching all right. It's not terrible. Pitch all that in there. I'm just out here playing around. Figured I'd do a review on this since I've had it for a long time and uh, it's had some extended use for sure. So I'll just finish batoning down all this wood to go in my fire. Stuff like knots, this isn't a real wide blade, so it doesn't quite get that, that pull apart effect, you know, that wedge effect when you're going in like that, but it still does a decent job. But it can tend to get a little stuck on stuff that maybe has a knot in it or is just a real tough piece. As far as having a, a good ability to be used with a ferro rod, it, it definitely does have that. It's got a pretty good 90 degree, especially here. Now you'll, you'll kind of booger up your ferro rod using the uh, kind of bumpy, kind of notched thing up here. But as far as this, That'll definitely do a good job scraping a ferro rod. And it's, it's smooth, but at the same time, it's got good 90 degree edges on the spine. So it's, it'll grip you a little bit when you're running your finger across it. So that's good. That's exactly what you want. Finish processing this wood down. Not that I'm really needing smaller stuff, but I'm just having a little bit of fun. And in wet conditions, you're going to want to uh, baton this stuff open because like I said, it's gonna be about an eighth of an inch deep. If you've had some good soaking rain on any of this stuff that's dead, you're gonna wanna bust it open to get to the uh, drier stuff that isn't, isn't absorbent. Obviously, it's not a chopper as far as using this blade to, 
to hack on something. But, I mean, if you need to clean a fish or skin out an animal, it would definitely do the job for sure. I mean, I, like I said, I've processed some turtles down with this thing and it's done a decent job. And it sharpens up really well. Like this, this thing will absolutely get shaving sharp. I would be lying if I said I knew the exact blade material, but uh, I'm sure you can find that on the internet. I'm sort of a low-tech redneck. Sometimes I'll look up the material, but I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of 1095 steel, stuff like that, but I am not a huge guru on uh, blade steel, so that's for sure. And there's probably a couple different options with this knife, but All right, so I'll show you that scabbard. So here's the scabbard of this particular model, and it's a good, hard, Tidex-type scabbard. I'm not sure if that, uh, in the middle there, that kind of gold color. I'm not sure if that's metal or another sheet of plastic. But I do like this scabbard. It works really good on, like, the Condor belt, which is what I wear. You know, that inch-and-a-half to two-inch belt. Love those. Um... You're not going to fall and, and, and ram the blade into your uh, into your leg or anything with this on. It is it is a good hard scabbard. You got your little cutter notch right there, and I, I guess I'll show some of that here in a second. Hopefully the blade's still sharp enough after I've been processing all that wood down. And then this is sort of a uh, I don't know if that's like a simulated looks actually almost looks a little bit like leather, but I think it's a pleather of some kind and the uh locking mechanism on the back here has these little tabs that uh lock in and you have to just kind of pinch them together to get it to release and this isn't like a floppy deal here this thing is kind of it, it's got traction it's not exactly easy to uh go back and forth so you it's a really good secure attachment system so I definitely like that. And the scabbard as it's kind of going in, I guess I won't demo that, but it, it, it grips it as it's going in. It's It's got a good retention on the knife itself in the scabbard, as well as your strap and button. Overall, it's a great knife. They're about 70 bucks, give or take, depending on where you get it. But as far as a utility knife, something to use on a construction site, something to use on a plate carrier, or even using for like a survival knife, you won't be doing more of the finer tasks unless you, you know, as far as bushcraft stuff, unless you really put some practice in on it. But you could probably do that too. And you could just get a straight edge instead of the uh, serrated edge. And you'd be a lot more set to do the finer tasks with that. You really can't go wrong with the, uh, the Seal Pup Elite. I really like the knife. I would like to get a stainless version. Um, I would absolutely get this knife again. So as far as my opinions on that, and that's all this review is, is my opinions after, I don't know, about seven years of having one. It's a good, good lightweight utility knife for whatever you'd want to use. It's not going to break on you unless you're being absolutely ridiculous. I wouldn't try to pry with this or anything like that, but it absolutely does the job if you use your knife within reason. And there's a lot to be said about that. I mean, we've got people batoning, uh, heavy duty blade knives but batoning through bricks and crap like that on youtube and that's i mean i guess there's a place for that if you're going to go the joe x route to destruction on something but not everybody needs to do that and it'd be a terrible waste of money um it's a great tool i absolutely give it a thumbs up and i hope you enjoyed watching the uh review and just a little bit of field use here busting up this kindling and thanks for watching